Hey guys, how have you been? Welcome to one of the first highlights of 2021, or at least we thought so. Magic Legends, the new game from the guys at Cryptic Studio. The team behind Neverwinter and Star Trek Online had this one in the making for so many years, but we're finally seeing how it's shaping up. It's quite a detour from their traditional MMORPG history, instead of opting for a hack and slash Diablo-like approach after a midway change of development plans. How'd that turn out, huh? But first, let's talk about Ragnarok Labyrinth, which is sponsoring this video. This is the new game from the beloved series that has over 100 million players. This time you get a pick from four classes, Archer, Magician, Swordsman, Thief, and explore labyrinthic dungeons as you upgrade your heroes to discover new jobs. You'll get to meet and battle creatures that fans of the series will surely recognize such as Poring, Spore, and Thief Bugs right before you smash their faces and grab their loot. Business as usual, nothing personal. Your friends can join you in the adventure, or you can go solo if you so wish. Boss raids are part of the adventure as well. Various PvP modes including brawls, duel battles, and PvP leagues will test your skills. Having played the game for a few days already, I can tell that it's one of those just one more go RPGs. Give it a shot by clicking the link in the video description to see if you like the easygoing but challenging gameplay. Besides, we have a Ragnarok Labyrinth coupon code to get you started, which you're seeing on the screen right now. Grab it while it's hot. And now back to Magic Legends. Let me start by addressing the elephant in the plane. Optimization. Or lack thereof. Wow. It's truly bad. You need a beast of a computer to run the game on ultra settings, and even so, you may be subject to severe frame drops and incessant lag and stuttering. At times, it's barely playable. You press the spell keys and then have to hammer them like crazy because nothing seems to register at first, and frustration quickly sets in. Your mileage may vary, but I know for a fact that this is happening to many players, not the greatest open beta experience I've ever had. And that chat? Wow, that chat. Will everyone please just shut the hell up? There's no free pack, no free money, no free lunch, no free whatsoever to claim over there. Just shut up, stop spamming, and play the game for crying out loud. It seems that the chat is now hidden, but for a couple of days it was outrageous seeing all those silly messages pop up while playing. Optimization is bound to be fixed further down the road, but first impressions matter and this isn't the best ever. But what else is there to Magic Legends? Well, it's a hack and slash with a twist, and that twist is the spell casting mechanic. Before we get to that, let's check the available classes. You start as a planeswalker and get to pick from Beast Caller, Sanctifier, Mind Mage, Geomancer, and Necromancer. Each class is based on the five schools or colors from Magic the Gathering, giving them different abilities. I went for the Beast Caller, a class that's joined by its fox pet, and has a knack for melee combat with its massive axe. As you evolve, you unlock spell cards, but the thing is that you can only choose between four cards at a time, randomly selected from a deck of 12. When you start mixing cards from other schools, you must carefully check the mana colors and the way that you can combine different spells to create powerful and surprising combinations. You need to strike a nice balance between defensive and offensive spells, base abilities, summons, and so on, while completing quests to earn gold and equipment. The unpredictability is welcome, mimicking the physical game, and it teases you as you hope for a specific set of cards to create your favorite combo, but they fail to show up when needed. Spells are the indisputable highlight of the game, and fans of the physical card game will enjoy the most of this system, but that isn't enough to make an action RPG stand out from the crowd, and sadly it seems to be lacking in some departments besides optimization. The slow movement and combat feel unexciting, at odds with the thought of having tons of strategies to use via spell cards. The quests are extremely linear and repetitive involving a lot of walking from A to B to the point where you don't care anymore about the mobs that try to hit you and just run past them. Fast travel is a godsend, but even that is unnecessarily cumbersome to use. If I find one more quest where I have to align another Hedron, I'll go crazy. Teaming up with other players does contribute to a chaotic display of spells and summoned creatures and will come in handy against some fierce bosses. 
However, I never felt like I was playing a role in any part of a strategy. We were all just throwing everything that we had into the battlefield, hoping that all of our summons would be enough to beat our enemies. Strength in numbers seems to be the motto here, but perhaps I failed to grasp the tactical aspect of it due to all the stuttering and mediocre combat. Level design is another aspect where I'm not too convinced. I could understand the uninspiring nature of the maps if they were procedurally generated, but that's not the case. As it happens, the planes just feel repetitive, with no actual landmarks to guide you or even make you feel like you're exploring a different area. It just feels samey, bland. Very few locations really stand out and make you go, wow, this bit looks quite impressive. Some burning weed fields throw some decent particle effects into the mix, but the overall feel of it is that there was a lot, and I mean a lot, of asset reuse. I may sound a bit harsh, but the truth is that I had high hopes for Magic Legends. Its shift from fully-fledged MMORPG to action RPG raised eyebrows, and it seems the naysayers were right. The game does get better as you go and unlock new mechanics, but it's hard to say at this point if it'll ever be a match for rivals such as Path of Exile. There's room to grow, and I hope that it quickly improves in areas such as optimization and combat, but the first impressions are somewhat underwhelming.